What's up everyone? This is my uh, afternoon workout. It's a second workout for the day. Doing my um, strength training. And I'm working on a on my planche. Well, I'm working towards a tuck planche at the moment. So I'm just going to do a couple of warm-up sets of scapular push-ups. It's always good to use a regressed version of the exercise that you're going to be working on with calisthenics for your warm-up. So for me, I'm doing a scapular push-up to lean, so that's a regressed version, good for a warm-up. And I'm still working to deload my wrist flexors to deal with a bit of golfer's elbow. So I'm using these wrist straps whenever I can. Basically on anything that involves grip, if I can use these wrist straps, then I'm doing it. So, that means even for my tuck lever work, I'm going to be using wrist straps. It feels really weird, but, you know, uh, it is what it is. Just got to do these things to work around injuries. to deload the uh, wrist flexors. It's really hard to get good retraction when you're not gripping with your fingers. It just feels so weird to be pulling that hard without any grip being a part of it. I just had my first appointment with the chiropractor all year and I feel really good but I also just feel a little bit uh you know it's a funny feeling if you've never been to the chiropractor or uh, if you haven't been recently so I'm just taking it easy on this workout I didn't do my first set of split squats um, also because wanting to deload these golfers are both like I'm not even holding on to dumbbells so I'll do this set but I think I'll just hold a kettlebell here and I'll probably just get through just my primary exercises and that'll be it for today I think I'll see how I feel after the primaries anyway so if you want to deload your grip with a um, 
split squat or a Cossack squat or something like this, this is a way you can do it. You can, um, this is called a goblet um, position, I guess. And so this way, I'm really not using my grip at all. So, whoops, still add a little bit of weight to the exercise, but nice and gentle on my grip. I use the same marks on the ground to measure the distance between my feet. So I'm always doing the same distance. I find that helps. One of those days for me today, the whole rhythm is out of whack. I've had to do school drop off and pick up that I don't normally do. And I <clears throat> had to go to the chiropractor and take my wife to the chiropractor because she's hurt her back. Just a really out of whack day. And this training session is getting done very late in the day. struggle to do a good workout when when things don't sort of go as planned but you know you don't get much done if you only work out when you feel like doing it you gotta do it <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
So I've been doing three reps per set on the uh, scapular push-up to lean for the whole workout. But then the fourth set, I went for that fourth rep. And if you re-watch it, you'll see the fourth rep wasn't as good as the third rep. But three sets of three reps was feeling pretty good. I was feeling like I can push it a little bit. So it's okay to get a not so good rep as long as it's maybe 80, 90% of the quality of what the other ones are and if it's you know done towards the end of the workout and if you get those if I get those four reps for the last two work uh, sets then in my next workout I'll probably try four reps for the first three sets which still is a way of using progressive overload There's lots of different ways to use progressive overload and you always want to be hungry for like one extra rep in the than you did in the last workout with calisthenics, but never at the cost of technique, which is a big mistake that I used to make in the past and that led to some pretty bad injuries for me. Oh man, I'm happy those are done. It's just horrible on your wrist and just the whole feeling of it. Oh, I'm very happy they're done. Okay, so I'm really looking for high quality, but I'm gonna try and really get a fourth rep if I can with good quality. Couldn't hold it. Not with quality anyway. I would have, I wouldn't have been able to go as far forward or I would have like had to lift my hips or I would have, you know, arched my back. I would have lost the um, flexion in the spine or I would have lost the retraction. One of those things would have happened and that's a no rep that doesn't count. So I only get three reps. All right, this is my first supplementary exercise for my pulling, so my planche. What am I talking about? Front lever work. But this is also really, really good for pull-ups, this exercise, because if you watch, when I depress the scapula, then extend the shoulders and then retract the scapula, that's the first three movements of a pull-up. 
that really need to be dialed in if you want a really good pull up. So depress, extend, and retract, and hold. For today it's just killing my wrist and I'm uh, starting to try to grip more and the whole idea of using these things is to really deload my wrist flexors and not grip so hard so that I can allow this golfer's elbow to repair so I'm just not going to do it So this is a really good exercise for the serratus anterior and the rotator cuff, which is why I'm doing it. There's a lot going on there. You've got to keep your forearms vertical, protract your shoulder blades, and you've got to draw your tummy in and create a flexion in the spine. And then I'm just going to do this dorsiflexion stretch and bring me a bit more flexibility training into my practice um, this year. Because I'm doing two workouts a day, it gives me more room for flexibility. Oh, this one's just brutal on the the uh, calves and the back of the knees which is the calves and the hamstrings basically <laughs> right up your posterior chain from your heels to your to your bum ah. Ah, come on This was a straight arm scapular strength workout. If you want to see one of my bent arm strength workouts where I'm working on dips and pull-ups, so to build real muscle, also some flexibility as well, then you can click or tap the screen there and I'll see you in that next workout.